Now, it was just last week at the Black Hat conference that it, the keynote address was from the guy who is the head of security at InQtel. That's the CIA's own venture capital company. He was talking about how they needed to use the same type of protocol for computer viruses that they use for actual viruses. Well, the protocol that we're using for actual viruses isn't working out all that well. You're going to hear a lot about this new drug, ZMAP, and there was a, several stories about it today and where it's coming from. But before we get to that, think about the precautions that they took in country. Now, Popular Science reports that they had them heavily dressed in gowns and an apron and three pair of gloves, a hood covering their hair, and a green plastic protective eyewear. They also say that in the wash station, workers are sprayed with a chlorine solution meant to decontaminate people entering and leaving the isolation ward. Nevertheless, they still got it. So why would we violate our precautions, our quarantine precautions, and bring them into the United States? Well, I think it has a lot to do with this new treatment and who's behind the treatment. Now, it's being sold on Popular Mechanics and on Forbes as something that is coming to us through tobacco. The headlines from Forbes says, Ebola's secret serum, a small biopharma, the army, and big tobacco. A very interesting story. They start talking about things that you probably haven't heard about, things like plantibodies and farming. That would be farming with a PH, as in pharmaceuticals. What they are doing is creating a different kind of immunity. As you can see in that picture there, they've got a plant. That is where they are cloning the antibodies. And what they don't want to talk about is the fact that it's actually GMO. So they'll talk about tobacco because tobacco has been the plant that they have done the most genetic modification experiments on it. The way this works is very different from a typical vaccine. In a typical vaccine, they inject you with a weak or dead version of the virus in theory, and your body produces antibodies. With this, they produce the antibodies in a mouse that has been given this, then genetically modify those antibodies, put them in a genetically modified plant, and then inject them into your body. That's called passive immunity because you're not creating the antibodies with your, with your body. They're actually being injected into you with a vaccine. Look at who is behind this, though. It's being funded. These new corporations that are putting this together have been funded with venture capital from DARPA, from the Army, from the U.S. Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases, working on this in a biosafety level four facility in Frederick, Maryland. Now, first of all, the bio level four, as Alex Jones has pointed out, is what you would want to have with something as dangerous as Ebola. And yet, when they brought this doctor back, they put him in a bio level two facility. The other thing they don't mention is that Frederick, Maryland, is the home of Fort Detrick. This is where they do the nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare experiments, where they've been doing them since the end of World War II, when they brought over the Nazi scientists as part of Operation Paperclip. You can read a very detailed account of that in A Terrible Mistake, the story of Frank Olson. He was one of the scientists there, and he realized what was happening there, along with the, the uh, CIA's LSD experiments a very dark place that was created in the aftermath of World War II with Nazi scientists, with Japanese scientists who came over and continued their horrific experiments on humans. And one final thing to think about when you see all of the signs prompting you to get a flu vaccine. They ask, why plant bodies? And they talk about the specific strain of tobacco that they're using for these genetically modified plant bodies. They say, this same tobacco species is the one that is used for development of a pandemic influenza virus. There we go. So keep that in mind as they try to sell you on influenza vaccines. Keep that in mind if they try to mandate the Ebola vaccine. Remember the GMO sources of this and remember the people who are behind it. Now, of course, as a new school year is coming, they're going to be selling you on vaccines. They're going to be telling you what to eat. It's a whole new round of brainwashing.